and welcome back again to the Tub Interiors channel and the series Our Unsolicited Opinion, the show where we watch design-related media, give you our opinion, even though you didn't ask for it. We're giving it anywhere. I'm Terry. I'm Steven. And this week on Unsolicited Opinion, we are talking about Trixie Motel, Episode 8, Season Finale. This is it, Stephen, the last episode. I'm yeah. going to miss it, actually. Me too. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. It was like a little bit of drag race and yeah. a little bit of like renovation. We, we don't have enough drag race out yeah, there. Yeah, like we don't have enough drag race shows. <laughs> Just want to make sure we pointed out we really did like the show, even though we were a little hard yes. on it sometimes, but it's hard love. We were more entertained. Enter entertained. But if you think that we were provocative and maybe a little bit bitchy on this one, wait till you see the next one. We're filming coming very soon. Our unsolicited opinions next show we are watching is How to Build a Sex Room on Netflix. Give that show a watch because first of all, it's amazing. It's great. It's fun. And then come and watch our show as we review each episode. You're going to learn a lot about us because we get way more deep. Pardon the pun in how to build a sex room because it's three tiered it's television production design and and kink and sex baby here we are we're back at trixie motel but it is time for our first reveal oh right okay which is the check-in there's our before and there it is it's very lovely. It's cool. There's our merch. There's the merch. Yeah, it's not very much merch. Nope. Dolls are all on the top. Cool light fixture. Yeah. I like very that. Very cool light fixture. Yeah. The curtains are not rod pocket this time. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Aren't I hate the rod they? pocket. Aren't I think they're a back tab. Oh, well, yeah. It's Those are never going to open and close anyway. They yeah. could have been anything. Yes. Because you're not going to open and close but them. But all the motel rooms, they did fucking rod pockets. Where they're going to open and close Where they the open time. and close them. Yes. Whatever. Whatever. Looking the other way. Right, into this is the view that we see, and that's looking into the lobby. seven. Oh. Because that's the kitchen. Oh, I know what you're thinking, and it comes up, because we did talk about this, where they stole space, right? Yeah. But they stole space from the lobby, not the reception. Oh, it goes right. Room By the up bathroom. Here, then the lobby. Reception's all the way over here. There's a bathroom in the reception, and there's a hallway that runs yeah. past the bathroom. Yes, you and we're going we're to see that. They, they actually pointed out and spoke about it. Right, but they close off that door. Yeah. Did not? Uh, no. Well, here you go. Yep. Yeah. They closed it off. It's nice. Lovely. I really yeah. like the custom tile. Mm -hmm. I really think it's really cute. Super on brand. Floor tile. The floor tile, yep. sorry, yeah. They got that custom made. Yeah. I love this color. Very it's very dusty. Lush, pink, dusty. Blush, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. I like a stronger pink. Do you like a stronger pink? Yes. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Um, last episode, you said you had some things to say about this marble. I, d Are you I ready to say it yet? <laughs> yes. Okay. I, d I don't like the marble at all. Yeah. Like the marble with the floor looks yeah. horrible. Yes, it does. The marble, I wouldn't, if the marble wasn't hitting the floor, I might like it better. I don't know. I, I no, I do not like that marble at all. Yeah. I, it's purple to me if, if it's a if color I, of those drapes. If I block the floor and I can't see the floor, I like it. Like it goes well with the color of the walls and the, the color of the, the half circle behind and stuff. Now yes, I know you're right. Once you see it with the floor, it's right. too much. These pinks, the pink of the chair, the pink of the merch, the pink of the pillows on the chair don't work with the pink of the marble, the pink of the drapes, and then the pink of the walls don't work with all of it. It's not the, my favorite. The, the pink of the merch for sure really stands out as well, that's not belonging. Trixie but that, that's Trixie pink. The rest right. of the space is Right, and I like it. Trixie pink. Do we have a comment about that? About what? That logo and the whole sign? Well, is that, should that not be neon? Should that not be bright pink? There's one in the window though in this room, a bright pink neon. Yeah, well that one should be too. Yeah. I just don't, I find it way too small. It's a weird font that doesn't it's look a, like a, a weird a font that font. doesn't look like it matches anything else. It the font, more. sorry, the font in the neon looks amazing because it looks like, like she right. hand wrote it. That's right. cool. That looks like 
Trixie Motel. Custom floor. <laughs> there it is. Right and directly right against that each other. You Those, <laughs> that, maybe in real life, but on TV, no. The mar yeah. marble looks like liver. Oh. So, wah, wah, wah. To me, personally, because many years ago, our company here, Teb Interiors, started as a, like a workroom where we did sewing and upholstery and, and many of the old TV shows from the early 2000s that I used to do. This fucking thing with the, let's take off the seat from the dining chair. It's and been done culture. three million oh. times in the last 20 five years of yeah. home renovation television. It's just a tired trope that every show does and it just bores the shit out of me. This scene, I gave you the numbers. What was the math again? Seven minutes? Seven minutes and just over seven minutes. Just over seven minutes in total of watching these two lovely ladies. I love both of them. They're amazing, but I did not enjoy having to sit here and watch this. It was painful. They didn't teach us anything. We didn't oh, learn God. anything. We didn't because they were terrible to, at it. Because they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> custom fabric custom, custom fabric. printed which by the way also so here's back to me and my experience with this stuff that is not upholstery furniture or fabric you should oh, not be using this for good, upholstery good in a commercial point. space especially in a commercial space this is just very thin it's just a regular old fabric this isn't meant to work or last in a motel like this all the hearts are upside down this is her custom print because it's in all the are those paper yeah there's hearts on there that are all upside down oh. somebody ends up taking this of apart course and, and does and it doing right them they rip off the how many layers of old fabric right yeah i, I hope they took all yeah, those so extra layers they off they better have probably put new foam in i hope too. they put new foam because you know how much how many farts went through that yeah. foam over how many oh, yeah, however old those are to... so anybody out there who's trying to do these you find some old chairs somewhere replace all of it there's a painted uh chair frame looks fantastic mm, fantastic i love it's the, kind of the looks colors. like it's even a matte pink which is mm -hmm. even better and it also looks like they got them professionally sprayed yes of course they did but to my point with that it, especially Again, because you're gonna be using these in a commercial space, don't just paint these because they will be chipped to shit and they will look terrible. Oh, you mean don't just paint them yourself. Don't just grab some Benjamin Moore right. paint and paint them yourself. Right. Take them to a professional. Have them that sprayed, sprayed, lacquer, lacquer. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, I love it. It's meant for in your home where you can take proper care of it. Yes. Not in a commercial space. One thing I kept noticing, it's like, hey, did they double side the curtains? Or the, is there fabric oh. on, the, on the other side of the curtains as well? Bizarre. Weird, I wonder what's going on. It's just gonna fade. So this is reveal number two, the yep. pool, the pool, sorry, the out, um, the pool, pool deck. deck. Dude, I love it. I think it's so cool. It does. It looks fantastic. Oh my God. Bright. Yeah, I love great. the pink. I think it is so cool. I love the, the contrast of the blue water with all this pink and white. Mm. Amazing. Love that view. Yeah, I think it turned out so good. I can kind of see a couple of the pink hearts in the water. Another thing that I wish they yeah. had spoken of because I love that design detail. I, I think, cool. I, again, I think it's just because you can't see the Yeah, I know. Them. For sure. But then do it while you're painting it. I'd rather see you doing that than reupholstering a fucking old chair. Yes. Okay, custom umbrellas for $162. No. Wow. I'm Show sure. me because I want some. Oh, and there's the new roof. What's that little pink and white striped room? It's kind of fenced in up at the right corner. Right? Oh, yeah. Like a little, its own little private little yeah, area. Stripes. Huh. I think if it was a garbage is. area, they wouldn't have it all pink and white stripes. Yeah. Maybe it's um, motel owner parking. Maybe that's a, a, a gate that opens. Yeah, maybe. But why would you make it pink and white yeah, stripe? You're parking your car on it. It would make sense that that is where the they would park. And the wall and the curtains again. Curtains. Pattern on yeah. the inside. Uh, weird. The stylist. If somebody go fix that towel. We're taking a shot of the pool. Oh, yeah. It's the first towel, like right yeah. at the camera. <laughs> all the other ones are perfectly flat, and that one's all yeah. messed up. Oh wait, we can see that striped room. Yeah, there's okay. There's a, there's even a garden in there oh, with nice. lights and stuff. Yes. Yeah, so that's definitely not a gate that opens because there's some white hole oh. or pole there. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's like a private. Maybe this is the clothing optional little hangout area oh look at that pink rectangle on the roof you know what that is oh and wait till we get there and steven's got some words for that pink rectangle <laughs> okay so there we go there is the all the rooms and the pool and the check-in all covered time for another reveal number three of the lobby bar oh, it's yucky 
Wow. Yeah, the transformations of these rooms are insane. Like the the befores and the afters are like, holy shit. Well, that's, that's because the befores are so ugly. It's so bad. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh my God. This, am I saying this is my favorite room? Oh, oh, for sure. I think this is my favorite. Yes, if this wasn't a, te- if this wasn't a television show, all the rooms should have this feel. This is very along the lines of Pink Flamingo Room. Yes. They look like they're from the same yes. clothing line. <laughs> yes. Pink Flamingo Room and the lobby look like they could be in the same hotel. I can f- almost feel like what it would feel like to be standing in that room. It's so bright and airy. and you would, People would look really well, good in it. Yeah. <laughs> Very good great. reflecting color. This motel has so much velvet. It's not going to last. I would love to see what this looks like in a year. There's going to be so Very much hands. unfortunate damage, especially in this. This is the, I guess there's no food. It isn't as bad, but still people are just oh, hanging be, out. I'm sure there'll be snacks. There, there probably would be snack. Colorful drinks. Wait, there's even something that comes up too that makes it even worse. Love it. I like these um, pillows. Yeah, yeah, the fuzzy ones. Like yeah. they, obviously, they bought them from somewhere. Maybe somebody yeah, made them. Yeah, they're almost a quilted, maybe. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, I like them a lot. They're cool. I like the painting. I like the turquoise yes. painting. I wish it was bigger. I wish it had yeah. more of the feeling of like in Dynasty when they had a pa- painting of Crystal <laughs> or Alexis. Crystal character. Or on the Young and the Restless where they have a, a big painting of Ashley or <laughs> Nikki Newman. Newman. <laughs> they were bigger. It should be bigger. It's it the should scale's be way wrong, bigger, right? Yep. Like it should almost be the size of the opening of the fireplace. It should be the same size as the opening of the yeah, fireplace. Yeah, scale's too big. I mean, hundred percent. You could even just make the keep the picture the same size. Just make the mat and the frame bigger to fit mm. the, the space. I want to see more Tootsie. I would Aww, rather the frame. Do you? That's and nice. The frame looks like it might have a little antique feel. I yeah. like that idea. Yeah, it's got like um, one of the um, yeah. Or face in the kitchen. Beautiful. There's that ugly carpet from the Pink Flamingo Room. Speaking of this looking like the Pink Flamingo oh, Room. Yeah. Look at the stripes on the Don't back of the chairs. Don't even those look horrible. That's really bad. That's another one of my things that I keep going on about. I know, but it drives me... Ah! Yeah, that's a lot. So here's the other thing. I was, We were just talking about um, all the velvet and the, the colored drinks and snacks and stuff. There's a velvet door to go into the kitchen. So people's hand they pushing the velvet upholster door. It's got the black there, the brass plaque. Yeah, and you think hands. everybody's going to for sure use no, that? No, because you're going to use your arm. Or your butt, which will be fine. You know, yeah, just sort of turn around and push yeah. it with your butt if you've got trays and stuff. But yeah. dude, that door is going to be a disaster really fast. It's beautiful. It's so cool. I love it. What a great idea. I've done that before too. We've upholstered doors. I did them in leather with our brass knuckles on them. We've done other ones. Um, in velvet, but it was in a, in a client's home to their bedroom, so it was fine. Okay, another before, closer uh, close-up shot. <laughs> closer close-up shot. Yeah. Cool. So, I kind of take it a little bit back on the door now. The door is beautiful. Look at the velvet, it's great. It's But the craftsmanship, look at the, the heart's really rickety and, and kind of... Well, look, is it made, do you think it's made of nail heads? Yeah. Brass nail heads? And there's nail heads all around the outside of the actual oh, door. Oh, right. I don't mind that, yes. Oh, which I love, but the craftsmanship like of the it... Heart. The heart's not straight. It's not straight. Like, they didn't do a very yeah, good thing right. keep it in a nice, straight, even right. line. And that's super uber important. Here we go. Here's the hallway that disappears. Yes, the, and they were saying this used to be the hallway to the motel owner's room, which is now the honeymoon. Thing. Now oh, it's in the map. Honeymoon suite. Honey, I'm not saying you're getting old, honey, but the skin around your eyes is getting so papery, honey. Nina Benita Brown tries to wear it on her head on Drag Race, honey. <laughs> and that is papery, honey. <laughs> papery. Now it's part of the bathroom of the old honeymoon suite. And in here, it's like a little coffee stand that they filled in. What a great idea. That looks cool. Wonderful. Rod pocket drapes. Those are never going to open and close. I know. But they also just look really sloppy and messy. I'm not a fan. God, there's a lot of things I'm not a fan of. There is a lot of And I'm bitchy and anal about. I gotta, I I gotta... Lighten up. Lighten up. Lighten up, Laura. There's stuff on the coffee stand. And look at this. Velvet record player. Oh, goodness. (laughs) Even even the record player is velvet. Which is, oh my God, that is sexy. That is cool. A pink velvet record player. There we go. Another shot of the, uh, see? Oh my God, that's bad. I'm gonna real call it. Frazzle. I'm gonna call it full Razzo from right. now on, even in real life, right. because of how many times we've talked about Ferrazzo on this show. Real Terrazzo. And there's our pink chairs. There's the pink chairs, which look great, which look amazing. And the hearts are right side up now. There you go. <laughs> and look how well it. And how well done it is. Yes. 
Cool light fixtures. Yep. Interesting. Works with the one in the center. That's mm -hmm. just, there it is. It's yep. lovely. There's your favorite uh, light fixture. Didn't like, it. Didn't like it before. I don't like it now. I wonder how many they had. There's one in their confessional interviews when her, when Trixie, oh, but you know what? Ah, oh, that's what's going on. When, you know, her and David are like talking, it's, there's one in the background. But then at the very, very end of the show, they go, that's a wrap, that's a wrap. And the camera pans out and they're in this room with a curtain behind them. And oh. That, and so it is still just the same. So there's two, obviously. Malibu Barbara. See, we're, we're very investigative. Malibu Barbara, We yes. figure out things that nobody cared about. That nobody gives a shit about, but drive us insane. Mm -hmm. Kitchen. Ugly. Very ugly. Very dirty looking. And there we go. They opened up the ceiling, mm -hmm. remember? Yeah, looks great. That sink contraption. I was just saying, what's the, with the drain a in the lot floor? That's going on into a big, that must be a California thing. I don't know what is happening there. Yeah, into that hole in the floor. What and that is thing that? beside it is the dishwasher, I'm assuming. There's no handles on the cabinets. I'm sh I would assume they would have the same little heart knobs like they did in the that would be nice in the reception custom tile they put it on the counter as well mm -hmm. and then more investigative stuff look at this uh oh he hurt his finger oh no <laughs> got a splint on I wonder what he did giving somebody the finger or, yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. They also said this is custom wallpaper, so it, which is really clever to save you on the cost of tile. It looks like the custom tile, oh. but it's wallpaper instead. Smart. Very smart. So when you look through that window, it looks like the whole thing is tiled. I thought in that it was. Custom. Yeah, me too. So they said it's custom wallpaper. Wow. Dude, more investigative work. Here we go. So we've been talking. This is the wallpaper that's in all of those doorways. And we were like, what in the, the foyers of each room? Yeah, it's to get in where those two doors are. Yes, sir. And we were like, why? What is that wallpaper? Why are they not showing? It's weird. It doesn't match. It's Scandinavian. It's the motel. It's motel wallpaper. Now, I don't know if this is custom. I have no idea because they've never talked about this wallpaper on the show ever. But now I love it. It's Flamingos not even. the motel. It's a bunch of motels. Yeah, with but the pink flamingos. Mingo, Different kind of pool. Big pink Cadillac. A, a, a greenhouse. Now it makes sense, that wallpaper. Because before, when it was so far away, I just thought it was some sort of Scandi. Oh, yeah. Pattern. Well, that's sad that they never talked about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, because oh, it's either very, Motel Palm Springs, it even says on it. And the, on that big very, sign. Very, very, very cool. Yeah, I love it now. Oh, we just skip over this stuff. Yeah. However, okay. Uh oh dude look at the door how chipped it is already oh yeah we have with it must get with, stuck in the opening and that's what she said <laughs> when we are dealing with clients and every time somebody wants to paint a door who's the first person to say fuck please don't do that me Gary wants eat. every door professionally well, this is why. Yeah. Look at it. This place isn't even open yet. And look at the door already. Imagine what it's going to look like in two weeks. Just back to the chair thing, too. If you're just going to get some Benjamin Moore paint and just roller paint a door, don't. Because it, this will happen. It'll happen on the surface, on the face, on the back. Like it's, They just chip like crazy and get ruined. You need to get a new door that's already pre the color you want or get it professionally done. It's back back that and the god i really do have a lot of things that drive me crazy yep they're all design related too the owner of the oh, coral sand ruby montana i love this lady she was seemed very sweet yes she was she was actually really good on camera she was amazing on camera yes very great personality so this is the lady that used to that trixie bought the motel from so I, I, just to sidetrack for two seconds, somebody needed to tell her that she has a booger in her nose. Oh no, it's <laughs> called a bat in the cave. The, make, whole... the makeup artist should have said you got yeah. a bat in the cave. Yeah, why didn't the makeup artist catch this? Yeah, poor lady, but okay, so let me, I did write notes about her, so I, cause I, She's okay. not, she's a Make guest sure star. She's not a star, but she is to us now. She's the old owner. She owned it for nearly 22 years and lived there for 21 of them. So she painted the whole place herself pink because yeah. it used to be beige herself with a brush. Uh, she said she was worried about coming by because she was worried that she wouldn't love her anymore. But she sure. does. She said she loves her just the same. So we got the stamp of approval from Ruby Montana. Do you think it's interesting that Ruby Montana chose to paint the outside of that motel pink and left those rooms the way, the insides the way that they were? 22 uh, years ago, what did this place look like? They, what did the rooms look like? Oh, like, I what don't did know, this, yeah. I, I would have liked to have known 
what this place looked like when it was built. Yes. I want more history. Well, we will go Google it. Go to if we were able to find pictures of the coral sands of what it looked like originally when it was first built, we will put them on the screen for us to see. Finally at the grand opening party. Millions of guests. Millions. Special guests all over the place. It's all a, over. It's a Get ready because... It's a plethora. <laughs> or cornucopia. I love that word. We're going to bombard you with it because there's so many people here. It's great. So many guests. Monet Exchange Who, with her boyfriend. Um, and Mr. Monet Exchange has been working out. And also... Money Exchange has eyebrows. I am not used to seeing him with oh, eyebrows. Oh, that's what it is. Right? He's, he's not, he must not be working. And scruffy you? beard. You never see that as well yes. on him. A drag queen with, Trimmed with down. boy eyebrows and, and stubble can change a whole yeah. thing. And then there's Brooklyn. <laughs> and then there's Brooklyn Heights <laughs> from Canada eyebrows, Drag Race. Boy eyebrows and stubble doesn't do a fake. And the fake, I, we're positive. I mean, at least on the first episode of Canada's Drag Race, which is season three is airing right now. I'm sure that first time when he had uh, eyebrow Merkins on, he had, they look like they look like real hair, but they were terrible. Maybe eyebrow Merkins. So, is that Halal Bay with him? Oh my goodness, maybe it is. Okay, so Halal Bay was just was the first person eliminated on this recent season that's airing right now on Canada's Drag Race. Right. Brooklyn Heights is the host of Canada's Drag Race. Right. Canadian. There he is. There, out of drag. That's funny. Brooklyn's got a type. Little, small, oh, ethnic boys. Miss <laughs> Van G. Miss Van G. And now uh, Halal Bay. I'm sure that's him. It's got to be. Bob the Drag Queen. Yay. Love Bob the Drag Love Queen. Love Bob the Drag Queen. Love Bob the Drag Queen. Juna Birch. Back again. Back, back, back again. Manila Luzon is there. Mm -hmm. I really like Manila. I think she's really funny. There's Kim Chi. And with Kim Chi, we were talking about this the other day. That's Amy Doan who is the owner of Sugar Pill Cosmetics. Right. And Alaska, Thunderfuck. Alaska is also one of my favorites of all time. So who do you pick as your, let's say top five drag queens of oh. all time? Well, of RuPaul's, let's talk, we, we need to make sure we're talking the famous ones. <laughs> Bianca Del Rio. Oh, see, I already have my five, but I bet you everybody you mentioned, if they're not on my list, I'm gonna go, oh yeah, I forgot about her. Bob the Drag Queen. Yeah. Uh, Trixie. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jinx Monsoon. She's doing so good on All Stars right now. Um, um, oh, uh, Ginger Minch. Oh, okay. That's a really good list. Okay, mine is Trixie and Katya. I'm putting together because I like them when they're a team. Yeah, they're more than we do separate. Yeah. yeah, I like them together more than separate. Uh, Alaska. Uh, Alyssa Edwards. I Ooh. love Alyssa Edwards. Oh my God. I could watch her and listen to her for hours. Interesting. Valentina. Love that me some Valentina and kimchi. Okay, anyway, so earlier we spoke about the big pink rectangle on the roof. Stephen, take you it away. You just put the host and producer of executive your producer. executive producers of your program 12 feet, at least 12 feet, or if not more, in the air on a roof without any harnesses. In heels. In heels. <laughs> One false move and that. And one of them falls off the roof. So she's giving all her thanks. So of course, oh, to all the people who to all the people. Out so David the Rios, and they all really did help. You know, it was all whatever. I couldn't have done it without you, David Rios. There's uh, her assistant, Brandon. Thank you to Philip and Danny, and of course to David. And again, of course, this fucking gutted me right you in You cry, Terry cries. I like cried at everything. Homosexual. Stop baby. it! Hey. Don't shame me because of it. Oh my God. Especially because he almost he got really tricksy on the, even on the microphone kind of got quiet and really sincere and just said, I only did this because we got to do it together. And it was just so, ugh, got me right in the fucking feels. This is why the curtains are backward. Yes. And look at they're and not on rod pocket. They, oh no. They're, all the, they're the clips. All they've done is taken them off the rods. The pocket is still there. 
yes. image on those clips so that they can open them, which we will see in a minute. Which you should be able to do when you're sleeping and staying in a motel right. room anyway. Exactly. That's a very good point. I wonder Maybe. if they'll leave them. Maybe they'll leave them. No, because it's on. too much gap. I definitely need notes for this one because there's a bunch of names I got to remember. This is why the curtains are backwards because what they're going to do is get everybody to crowd around. Oh, there's very gay paint, by the way. Oh, yeah. Very they, were, they were also there. Crowd around the window, open the curtains. As they reveal each room, there is a drag queen in each one. They're kind of, it's kind of like The Price is Right. It's just like The Price is Right. Please, I'm going to butcher these some of these names. They never showed the name on the screen, which no, they should have done. Yes, yeah, they should have. These are also guest stars. And just yes, like you said about Gigi Gorgeous's husband, they never showed uh, yes, his name either. Yes. So I'm sorry for butchering the names, but here we go. Azalea Montoy in the pink flamingo room. Yes. Very nice. She's Huge. gorgeous. She's beautiful. Huge. This here is Fabianse McMichaels in the Queen of Hearts room. Weird name. Obviously from the house of McMichaels. Oh, Morgan McMichaels. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe. With yeah. kind of a eureka look. Yeah. Definitely a, a eureka look. Here is the Atomic Bombshell Room with Angelique Vavor Vagorgis. Vavorgis? Shit, see? Vavorgis. It's okay. If, if your name is so hard to say, it didn't work. No, but I could have been... Uh, I don't. I could be spelling this wrong. I could have done a typo. Yes. Angelique Vagor... Probably Vagorgis. Is it Vagorgis? No, Vavorgis. No. V Vavorgis. Fine. If your name is that hard to say, then you picked <laughs> the wrong name. In the Atomic Bombshell Room, this is Marika. Woo, thank you, Marika, for an easy name. name. Flower Power, James Mansfield. There we go. So we know who this one is in the Yeehaw Calgo room. Malibu Barbara, this is Alexis Cameron. Oh, oh, Honeymoon Suite. And here is David Rios and Brandon pretending that they were Getting caught fucking around. Doing the deed. <laughs> Dude. That's it. That's the end of the show. Off she goes. That's the end of uh, this season of our unsolicited opinion, Trixie Motel. Obviously, we hope that she does some more, and we will do this again as long as she doesn't get mad at us <laughs> and sue us. It's all out of love. But don't forget, <laughs> next set we're already filming it. Go watch How to Build a Sex Room on Netflix, and then come in here what we think about it and we'll learn a lot of things about each of us that we may or may not reveal about us. Actually, you never know. Stuff that you didn't ask to know. Stuff that you didn't even ask. <laughs> Unsolicited sexual stuff, preferences. Yeah. We're going to tell you <laughs> stuff about us that you didn't even want to know. <laughs> and you... <laughs> or did you? Oh.